hi guys today i want to show you how i normally do my layered chapatis soft layered chapatis so for our layered chapatis i'm using four cups of flour all purpose wheat flour and i have four four, four tablespoons of sugar and like a three quarter of blue band yeah three quarter of a tablespoon blue band then i'll have my how can i call this uh, I use this to cover my cooking oil, to cover the bottle of my cooking oil. So I don't know how I'll call that, but it's it's a, it's about four, it's about four to five tablespoons. And we are going to use carrot. I think for just garnishing, carrot has nothing to do with taste or the <laughs> how soft the chapatis will become. It's just garnishing. Then I'm having 500 ml of milk, fresh milk, and it's boiled, boiled. Then so yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, I forgot to mention that I have four tablespoons of sugar and like uh, three pinches of salt. With that, you can either eat with your stew or tea. Yeah. So you just want to mix everything in. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about the blue band. It will just melt when I add in my milk so just make sure you've mixed everything in so you can add in more sugar depending on the taste you want to achieve I just added in milk bit by bit don't add all of your milk because you can add all and then your mixture becomes too soft and you don't have another milk left so you add in bit by bit as you as you press you press like this and then like this i don't know whether you're getting i know you're sharp you're sharp you get it So after garnishing, I normally let it settle for about 30, 30 to 40 minutes, depending on the time you have. I hope you've seen how soft my dog looks like. It's been 45 minutes. <laughs> I wanted, okay, I forgot to tell you that I did cover with a damp towel. Yeah, yeah, I know, I forgot. You cover with a damp towel. You know, so you know what I mean by damp towel. Yeah. So this is how our doll looks like. I want to teach you a little hack. If you want your chapatis to be soft, please don't overhandle your dog. Tafadali. Don't need, 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 no. If you overhandle your dog in a quite like immediately that was some okay i want to use this piece so i'll just divide this into two i'll show you how i make my layers i'll today i'll just show you two methods two methods only okay i have a lot but of course i'll share with you as time goes by single to me answer to our channel so today i'll show you two okay turn the cast And then you tuck it in. No, no. And then see it like that. Huh? See those two to, to circle circle? Yep. So that is one way I make my layers and this is another style, another hack. So I just spread that out like that. Don't make it too thin, just spread it 
like that. Okay, so it was a cuddle. And then didn't update. Yeah, I know it's somehow time consuming. <laughs> but of course chapati, the whole process is just time consuming on its own. Yeah, and then I'll just follow this here. I don't know whether it's so hard so see. Yes. After this I press it first like that. Then I start folding. Like that. Like that. And I tuck that in. I tuck that in. So yeah. Methods. With my damp towel still. So I'll cover that for like maybe twenty, maybe twenty minutes. Just twenty so let it let it twenty minutes down. That is how it looks like. See? Yep. You start from the first one to the last one. <laughs> Chapati. So what's that? So hot. Let it cook both sides. my chapati looks like my layered chapatis follow those steps carefully and you'll achieve all this it is a lot of layers as well so bye guys don't forget to pray don't forget to subscribe feel free to share hit the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video bye don't forget to pray bye bye